सो हाई एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोनो टेल यू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट पावर फ्रॉम द रेटिनोस्कोपी रीडिंग देन यू मस्ट भी नोइंग दैट इन द रेटिनोस्कोप वी यूज देर मे बी टू टाइप ऑफ द मिरर कनकेम मिरर और प्लेन मिरर एंड देन वी सी फॉर द मूवमेंट ऑफ द लाइट रिफ्लेक्स इफ इट इज विद द मूवमेंट ऑफ द मिरर अगेंस्ट और देर इज नो मूवमेंट सो इफ इट इज विद द मूवमेंट ऑफ द मिरर देन there may be myopia of minus less than minus 1 hypermetropia or emetropia there may be any one of these then if it is against the movement then there may be myopia equal to no no it is myopia more than minus 1 and if it is uh, there is no movement then there may be myopia of Uh, equal to minus one uh, power. So with this knowledge, we will now move forward. So if there is, uh, for example, we have got the reading like minus three here, minus four here. For example, this is this is ninety degree axis. This is one eighty degree axis. But this reading is uh, uncorrected retinoscopy reading. So we will have to use correction factor. so correction factor depend upon two uh, things first is the distance and second thing is cycloplegic we are using then for distance there is if the distance is 1 meter the correction factor is minus 1 if the distance is like 2 by 3 meter the correction factor is minus 1.5 and for cycloplegic you know we usually use atropin atropin if atropin is used then correction factor is minus 1 uh, so now you should remember uh, that we always add the correction factor so we are going back to our example for example if it is done at the mm, 1 meter distance and atropin was used so we will add minus 1 for 1 meter And then minus one for a drop in. So similarly here we have to add minus two. So finally we will get minus five and minus four. So this is in ninety degree axis. This is in one eighty degree axis. This is called corrective retinoscopy reading. So now we have to prescribe the power to the patient. So here we can. So you should know that uh, for the spherical lens. there is power in the both axis in the 90 degree as well as in the 180 degree but for the cylindrical lens there is uh, power only in the axis we prescribe like if uh, it may be only 180 or in 90 degree so we can give here like minus 4 spherical so minus 4 is given here minus 4 is given here now we are left with minus 1 so minus 1 cylindrical now there is one other thing if uh, in prescribing cylindrical lens we will ha have to give the power in the opposite axis like this is minus 1 we have to give in the uh, 90 degree axis so we will give it in 180 degree axis fine so some of you may have given it like minus 5 spherical and then it is now we have given minus 5 here minus 5 here now we are have to give plus 1 more here plus 1 cylindrical equal in as it is in the 180 degree we will give in 90 degree axis so you can see that we can give two prescription for a particular retinoscopy reading so this is called transcription so there is a shortcut for it like uh, if we are given one we can calculate the other one like if it is minus 4 we have to have the algebraic sum of the two like if it is minus 4 minus 4 and minus 1 is minus 5 and then for cylindrical we will change the minus 1 you know the sign of the uh, sign and the axis like it is minus 1 it is minus plus 1 that is 180 degree 90 degree so that's all guys thank you very much bye